Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here, Senior Trainer at Pragmatic Works, and if this is your first time getting to this YouTube channel here, definitely recommend subscribing to it, because we post about two to three videos every week, and we host a lot of live events as well. So what we're going to be covering in this, this is the first episode of a new series that I'm creating here, which is how to use Microsoft's OneNote program. Uh, I use this as a former educator, and I use it all the time here at Pragmatic Works. Uh, and if you never really opened up OneNote and explored around it, it's a fairly simple tool to use with a lot of great capabilities. Uh, and so I'm going to start off this series with going over some of the basics. Uh, then stay tuned for future episodes where we'll start to get into all the other advanced functionalities with it. Now, this series is mainly going to focus to start us off with with the most common use cases of OneNote, not the other things that come with the educator stuff that you can do. Um, and let's just get right into it and start off with our basics here of OneNote. All right, so what I've done is gone down to my start uh, icon down here, search for OneNote, and the one we're using is OneNote for Windows 10. There are some other versions of OneNote on your mobile device, the OneNote application, uh, but this series is going to focus on the OneNote for Windows 10 program, uh, and this is it. This is a OneNote, uh, and so as you can see here, this is my own OneNote that I use here at Pragmatic Works. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to make our own notebook for this series here. So. Here's what OneNote can do for you. It can do a lot. It can do everything from putting in your own text, you can put in images, math equations, audio files, images, I think I already said images earlier, um, for Microsoft Forms, and a whole lot more. And what's great is all of this is saved to the cloud. So if you're working on something now and you go on vacation and you want to log into your OneNote on your mobile device or on another web, um, on another computer, you can easily do that. So for this series, I'm gonna create a OneNote just for it, and that's usually the first step, is how do you even get started with OneNote? So let's take a look at how easy it is to create a notebook. So in the upper left-hand corner here, we can see that this is my current uh, notebook that I'm in, and if I hit this drop-down right here, what we'll see are these are all the other notebooks that I currently have access to, because what we'll learn is you can also share your notebooks with other users as well. So what I would like to do is from here, I'm gonna come on down and click on add a notebook. And when I click on add a notebook, the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is give it a name. So I'm gonna call this my YouTube series notebook. And then I'm gonna come right on over here and hit create. So this is gonna take a few seconds here to create the notebook. And if you're going, well, what is all that stuff off to the side? But what we're gonna learn that these are called sections. We also have pages. We're going to be able to put in section groupings. We're going to be able to do pages, sub pages as well. Uh, and so once this notebook is created, I'll take you for a little bit of a tour of the navigation here. All right, so my notebook has now been created. But before I start to make modifications there, let's take a look at these other uh, little icons we have on the far left hand corner. So what you're going to find out the capability of do is that you can search your all of your notebooks or just one specific notebook for key text phrases, which I love. Great search and uh, functionality. We're also going to learn how to put tags into our OneNote notebook as well later throughout this series. And then finally, underneath the search, you've got your recent here, and this will show you all the recent ones that you had currently been at, your recent notes. So now with that being said, what I'm ready to do is take this section and just show you how easy it is to delete a section. So I have a section, there's really, there's an untitled page here, but if I don't want this section, I can just do a right click and I can delete it, or I can do a right click and a rename. Uh, for this case, instead of deleting it, now that we see that that's where your delete capability is, I'm gonna do a rename here. And I'm gonna rename this something like my miscellaneous. Typically that's usually one section I have uh, in every single one of my notebooks. So I just called it miscellaneous. Hopefully I spelled it right there. But now what I want to do is make a little bit more formal one. But again, this is my miscellaneous. When I come over here to a page, I can say uh, my notes or meeting, whatever it might be. Notice how it's logging today's date and today's time as well. So you can see I'm recording this here on the 30th of October at 7.15 in the morning. And then I add in you know, whatever text I want. And we're gonna get more into the different text features that we have, images, the drawing and annotating capabilities. But again, this is just getting us started here. So what if I need another section? Well, down here we have an add section, but what might be a little bit hidden, and I didn't even realize it uh, my first week or so using OneNote, is if I come on down here and I right click on add section, I can add in what's called a section grouping. 
So this will allow me to divide one section into subsections, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come right down here to the bottom, right click on add section, and then put in a new section group. Uh, and for this new section group, let's just say I've, I'm gonna keep track of all of the, uh, the training we do here at Pragmatic Works. So I'm just gonna call it training. Now you'll notice there's a little drop down arrow here because this is really the, the main section and we're gonna add some subsections in. Now to add a section subsection underneath of this with my training still selected up here, I can come on over and click add section. And there we see, now I have a new section inside of here. And maybe I'll call this my power platform section. And then maybe I have another part of training where I focus on Power BI. And then maybe another one here where I focus on Azure. So very simple to add these little subsections. So it's just like a little hierarchy is really what we're creating. Now, if you don't like these colors, you can right click on a section uh, and you can come on over here to a section color and we could choose. So maybe I'll go a little bit more of the purple here for the Power Platform. Power BI is a little bit more of an orangish color. And then maybe for Azure, maybe a little bit more of that blue color. So again, fairly simple. I think it's more like that blue. And there we go. And everything is being saved to the cloud as we're doing this. So there is no save button that you have to click on. And so now that I have these different uh, sections here, maybe I'm now ready to start adding some notes to these sections. So let's say I'm going to come over here to Power BI. Uh, and in Power BI, what I'm currently working on uh, is a Power BI bootcamp. So I might give a, a nice heading here of Power BI bootcamp. And then in here, I would put all the, the major details about the camp. But now I want to start to organize the different pages underneath. So what I can do is if I come down here and do another add page, we can see that it's just simply called Untitle. Now, if I want to change that page name, maybe this is where I'm going to work on my course outline. You know, I've got it here, but really this is kind of a subheading, so to speak, or a sub page of my main page. Well, just like we can do it with our sections, we can do it with our pages. So if I right click on course outline and I click on make sub page, now I've got my first sub page. Now from here, if I'm already on a sub page and I click on add page, Notice how it already makes another sub page underneath. And maybe I'll do this where I'm gonna flesh out all the demos that I wanna do for the course. And maybe there's another one where I wanna work on all the labs that I wanna do for my course. And what happens if I put things in the wrong order? Well, what's nice is you do get the ability to drag and drop. So maybe I want the labs first and the demos or whatever the case might be. And then if I take labs here and I do a right click here, I can also make this another sub page. So if I click make sub page, now it's going to be under bootcamp, under demos, and then under labs. And if I realize I made a mistake, I just do a right click and I go, actually, you know what? Let me promote that sub page here. And what's nice is you can kind of get rid of all that extra noise. So if I had uh, a lot of things going on with Power BI and I just wanted to focus on the Power BI bootcamp, I could ex uh, collapse all those big pages, which had the sub pages underneath, and expand only the one that I'm interested in here. So again, the whole idea here was to give you a quick little overview. Again, very quick, we're gonna break this whole thing up into multiple episodes throughout this series, but hopefully at this point, you were now able to make a notebook. If you've never made one before, you now know how you have sections on the left-hand side. We can have section groups as well. We can change the colors. We added some pages in, we learned how to make sub pages. Uh, and in our next episode, we're gonna go way further with this uh, and start to talk about all those other capabilities that come with it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, and I hope I see you in the next episode.